It's always been important to me that I can see the impact of what I'm doing, that the things I do interface with the world and help people. The state of the pharmaceutical industry today, uh, especially in research, I would say it's been a decade and a half of going backwards by and large. They can't invest in research. There's no incentive for them to invest in research. This change in the industry's focus really is a great opportunity for universities to make basic discoveries and translate them into um, therapies that would help patients. The center um, was created to carry out collaborative science uh, with faculty um, across campus, but a lot of them are from the medical school. Drug discovery takes um, somewhere like from 10 to 15 years from having a hypothesis about a target and then actually getting a compound into the clinic. And there are many things that go wrong in that pathway. So I think it's critical to have a close collaboration between chemists like myself and the biologists, but uh, physicians seeing patients. The juxtaposition of biology and chemistry is absolutely essential to drug discovery. I and mean, it cannot happen otherwise. Some people use an analogy of a lock and a key when they think about drug targets. The notion is biologists come in with a lock and say, if I could unlock this lock, it would produce a useful outcome in a patient. And so the goal of the chemist is to come up with the key. The most advanced project we have is the MER tyrosine kinase project with Shelley Earp's lab. And one of the targets for MER is acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and that would be in adults and children. About 85% of children are cured with chemotherapy, but the problem is that um, they have lifelong neurological cardiovascular damage from the chemotherapy. So you can cure them, but they're disabled from the chemotherapy. So with a MER tyrosine kinase inhibitor, one of our beliefs is that we will significantly lower the dose of chemotherapy, maintain cures for the children, and they will have a normal sort of lifespan and, and health status. If things go well, uh, touch wood, um, we would have an investigational new drug application next um, May or June. And Shortly afterwards, hopefully have a clinical trial starting here at UNC in adults and children with leukemia. I don't count chickens, right? So I'll be proud when, when the compounds in the, when I see the results from a clinical trial, I'll be proud. Right now I'm hopeful, but um, I'll be proud when, when we have, and especially just not just for myself, but I'm certainly proud of the people that I've worked with and, and what we've been able to accomplish.